Greetings everyone, hope you're doing well, it's Kenji here and welcome to Life of Clay. Here we are again for another tutorial and this time we will be sculpting a reptile. Our very own Philippine Summer Cobra, Nadja Samarensis. And if you like my tutorials guys, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's bring the clay on and let's begin. First, I prepared a 3mm aluminum wire by filing it and making the other end pointy. This will be for the tail. Filing is done and I bend it to my desired position. Summer Cobra, Nadja Samarensis, also called Peter's Cobra, Southern Philippine Cobra, or Visayan Cobra, is highly venomous species of spitting cobra, native to Visayas and Mindanao Island group of the Philippines. Can grow up to 1.4 meters in length, coloring varies from black and yellow to green. There are 17 to 25 scale rows around the hood, 17 to 19 ahead of mid body, 161 to 184 ventrals, 41 to 52 sub caudals. Here are my DIY scale texturing tools and in the coming days, I will going to upload a tutorial to show you guys how did I make them. Roll out a noodle of clay and flatten it. Wrap it on the wire and add more clay on the thickest part of the snake's body. Summer cobra lives in mountainous jungle or tropical plains, even near human settlements, because it feeds on rodents that lives in human rice fields. Frog and other small reptiles are also in his menu. Blending the clay on his belly to close the seam. Using this bumpy texture on one of my tools to add a smaller scale texture on the tail towards the mid body. Rolling my scale texturing tools gently to avoid deforming the shape. Retouching some areas with my stamp style scale texturing tools. For the hard to reach areas, I use my explorer tool to make diagonal lines that intersect by another series of diagonal lines to create diamond shaped scales.
Brush it with alcohol to smooth out the rough edges and do the first baking. Now let's proceed in sculpting the neck and the head. To support the thin pieces of clay for his hood, I cut out a small pieces of aluminum can and adhere it on the wire using two parts epoxy. And start wrapping it with clay and shape it according to the reference. And now I'm adding those pairs of occipital scales on his head. Shaping the mouth and adding scales on it. Poking the side of the head for the eye sockets. And cut open the mouth. Summer Cobra's venom is potentially deadly neurotoxin. Neurotoxin means alters the structure or the function of nervous system, with cytotoxin properties as well, result to cell damage or cell death. Known for its nervous behavior and quick to strike as well as to spray venom targeting the face and eyes, that if not flushed properly, it may lead to permanent blindness. Shape a very tiny balls of clay for the eyes. Adding his retracted fangs and the glottis. Adding more scale texture on his hood. and adding more segments on the ventral part of the neck. Brush it with alcohol and do the final baking. And let's start sculpting the base. I start by shaping a flat rounded aluminum foil, cover it with air dry clay and added texture using crumpled aluminum foil. Sprinkling sand on the surface to add more texture. Adding small rocks made out of aluminum foil and clay as well. Set aside overnight to cure. I used jute fiber for the artificial grass, adding glue to the base to keep them in cluster.
Once the glue dried, I colored them with yellow ochre and sap green mix. And in painting the base, I used the random mix of burnt amber, black, burnt sienna, raw sienna, and titanium white. Brush it with wash of sap green and black to accentuate crevices. Finally, sealing it with ultra matte varnish. And for the final touch, adding the grasses using adhesive. And now let's start painting the cobra. I use bust yellow mixed with little amount of raw amber for the first coating. I did three coatings of this mix. For the color of the scales, I combine blue, raw amber, burnt amber, and black, painting them one by one in alternate pattern. Brushing it with wash of burnt sienna and burnt amber mix.
painting the ventral with the mix of blue, yellow, raw umber, burnt umber, and black, leaving some segments on his neck unpainted. Painting the inside of the mouth with titanium white, cardinal red, and yellow. Sealing it with semi-matte varnish. Sealing the eyes and mouth with gloss varnish. And let the cobra now sit on his throne. And there you go. The Summer Cobra is finally done. I hope that you like this snake sculpting tutorial guys and you enjoy the whole process. Thank you so much everyone. Have a wonderful day.